All right, welcome back to the Homeschool Shopping Network. So I wanna get right to this. I have an amazing product to show you today. I'm gonna to show you inside God Made Me by Generations. Now let me preface this by saying none of the products I show you am I paid to show you, I don't. Um, I didn't get this for free, I just bought it because I thought it looked fascinating and I have to tell you, I have bought every science curriculum there is, pretty much every one, secular and Christian, and this is the best one. Again, I'm not paid to say this, I'm telling you. This is just the best one I have seen for the amount of quality content in here. I'm going to show you inside it. And, um, but you, secular people cannot use it because it's not like God is separated. It's completely through the book. Now, let me preface this also by saying, if you didn't do your one and two, like level one and level two, it doesn't matter because I didn't do level one and level two and I'm doing level three. Now I'm doing, I do a lot of science with my kids. So what I do is I read it at breakfast. So I didn't get, so every day we read science. Like it could be even seven days a week, um, we read science books. So now I don't, I didn't get the activity book and I don't think you need it. Um, I mean, I don't know what's in it, I'm sure it's great, but I just to save money and because of time, because I like to get through a lot of science content during the year, it's kind of my thing. Um, making sure my kids have a strong science background. So that was more important to me rather than having religion mixed in. It just was, I'm being truthful here. And now the fact that I have both mixed in is fantastic. Now I'm gonna show you through it and you're gonna see why it's amazing. At the end of the video too, I have, because I'm the Homeschool Shopping Network, I have, um, or the shopping channel, I have two products to show you, three products. Um, two of which I love, one I don't, and then an amazing Bible that was gifted to me by my father. And I bought every children's Bible, not everyone, but a lot of them. And they're fine, but this one is amazing. It's about a father telling his the story to his children. So, um, and explaining it through, like explaining the Bible to his children. So he explains it and, and through that. So anyway, I think it's fantastic. Okay, so let's, without further ado, let's look inside God Made Me. Now I use four bookmarks because I don't like dog earring pages. I just love books. I have an obsession with books. So I don't like dog earring pages. So these are post-it notes. They sell them at Walmart, but it's they come in halves. Um, and so that's what I use for bookmarks. Okay, so I'm gonna show you through. Now these two, this is Pump and Puff and they explain stuff and solve things and they're like throughout the book. Okay, so Puff and, Puff and Puff. Now, let me, I guess quickly, let me show you. So it covers DNA. I've only read the first two chapters, which are pretty thick and solid and full of quality information. I think it's aptly graded. So grade three, um, it, I think it's aptly graded, although you can do a little bit up, a little bit down for sure. Um, okay, now God needed you together, time to be born. God gave you blood, cells, the nervous system, the breath of life, your nervous system, eyesight, sense of touch, your hearing, your smell. Um, your abdomen, intestines, cleaning your blood. God can heal your illnesses. I haven't read that. Like, I haven't read a lot of this stuff. I'm only a few chapters in, but it was just so good. So introduction, this is for parents. Um, I mean, you can read it to your kids, of course. I skipped it. Um, I didn't read it to them because it was more for me just to figure out. So you read a chapter, you take a break. You read the second um, section of the chapter, and then you take a break. I, we just read until we don't feel like reading. So every unit seems to, there seems to start with a hymn, I've noticed. Maybe not, but not every chapter, but every unit. I, again, I didn't do this. I didn't go and look it up. You can find it online though, and you can listen to the song if you want. This is the memory verse um, that it recommends working on. This stuff, now I skip a lot of stuff in books because I just want to get down to brass tacks. There's only one complaint I had about this, and it's that I'll show you when we're going through, but it's very minor. Okay, so God made you the way you are, so you're unique. It's got definitions here, womb and pregnant and unique and stuff, and it does have the Bible throughout. But what I love is that, so then it, the activity book I didn't get. So time to do the activity in the activity book. I didn't get that. We don't need that. Um, a lot of stuff we just um, we just learn, and then or I'll take the main the main words, I'll print it off, put it in a binder, and then once a week we go through the binder of all the stuff from any lessons we have of the important content. And we could just do that all year, just flip through and be like, okay, remember when we read about cells, this is all this is nuclear, stuff like that. So the definitions it has here, I'm gonna read you a little portion of it so you can see it's got about death cap mushrooms and how to watch out for mushrooms. It's got prayers, which is great, but let me show you in. So chapter two, 
See, so it's not a unit, so there's not a, a him here, but chapter two, God used DNA to make you. Okay, so let me tell you, oh no, oh no, breakfast. Ah. Okay, so I, I sectioned this off just to tell you. Okay, God is so wise, he made DNA for all living things, people, animal, plants, and microscopic life. Each kind of DNA is passed along to the next generation so that the same kind of life will continue. Sunflower DNA will produce more sunflowers. Dog DNA will produce more dogs. But God is also creative. He made each DNA of, able to give variety within each kind of living thing. That is my one complaint, is that variety does not have, like I looked through here to see if it had like a definition for variety, it, it's not in there, which I ask my kids like, hey, and sometimes I say, hey, what does variety mean? And I mean, they'll tell me. So I know if they know it or not. Um, and they did. Um, so now what's interesting too, is like, here is a hard question for you. How is it possible that two brown eyed parents, because then it explains that brown is dominant. How is it possible for two brown eyed parents to have a blue eyed baby? And it says, Puff has the answer on the next page. And uh, so it's very, it's interesting to read. So brown eyed parents have a blue eyed baby. Both of the baby's parents may have hidden blue eyed DNA. Um, maybe baby has some grandparents with blue eyes, okay? And another thing that it had in here that it mentions is about adoptive parents. See, some children are adopted. This means God has put them in a family with parents who are not the same parents that gave birth to them. These children have different DNA from their parents and the new parents are so happy to welcome their adoptive children. They love them very much. So anyway, it's, it's, I think it's aptly graded. Um, I think, I mean, it's just, the problem is, is I have a lot of science curriculums that are Christian and I have some that are secular and, um, some of them on both sides are weak. They're weak on science. I didn't want something that was weak on science. I want my children to be able to compete, if you will, with everyone else or be, I mean, better great, like better educated if possible, right? That's the dream. So anyway, I'll keep flipping through just to show you some more stuff. God knitted you together. A zoom into a cell. So it's got lots of zooming into the cells. Thumb teaches my ptosis. See, so it teaches, this must be, I'm telling you, this has got to be the strongest science curriculum there is. I'll show you through while talking. This has got to be the strongest. Cells spend only a little time in mitosis. Most of the time is spent doing their other jobs. I'm telling you, this is the strongest science curriculum I have read to date that is aptly graded. So it's not a family style. So I'm not necessarily counting family styles, although the family style ones I have done are not as strong as this. And that was my main complaint. That's why I was going to do a secular curriculum um, was because it was very strong in science and that's what I wanted. So the fact that I get to combine the two, I think is phenomenal. And I do use other sciences as well, but I do not have to. If I just wanted to do the sciences through generations, I could. Um, but I just happen to like, I mean, we just go through it so fast because we just read it, right? Like we're not doing activities. We're just reading it through. It's just interesting to us. We'll read through it, And sometimes I'll read it through twice. Like we can go through it twice because each time you, you know, you glean something different from it. How cute. So it's got prayers in there. Again, definitions, but just doesn't have every red word defined. And see unit two. So it's got another hymn. So if you want to go on the internet, again, I skip that stuff. But that's just me. I skip a lot when I teach because I just want to cover a lot of stuff. And then, I don't know, we have fun. We do a lot of interesting stuff. I do a lot of stuff. But anyway, so here you go. It is super strong. Plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. I could not be more impressed with this. Like as soon as I read it, um, I wanted to do a video on it because I just, I couldn't be more impressed. I could not. So again, I would say grade three and up, like you could even do grade four, grade five. I like how it says level three and not grade three because there might be a grade four student or grade five student um, that can do this, right? And maybe he's, and you can just tell him, yeah, it goes by levels. It doesn't go by, um, by grades. So I don't know, maybe I'll reach out to them and see if Generations would send me the activity book and then I could give you a preview in it. But to me, um, just it just doesn't interest me to do that. But this book, like definitely worth the money, worth buying it. Okay, so let me, this is God Made Me Level 3. Now let me show you two products. So I was sent products by iClever and I told them that I would give them an honest review. Two out of the products I think are amazing. One of them I don't care for. So one of them is, 
So this is, so now I have it plugged in, but look at these headphones. What I needed is I needed durable headphones that don't cost, that don't cost a lot of money. And what I found is that I was paying $30 for headphones. Look at this. It's got one, two, three, four, five. So you know on both sides where you're putting it at. So it's tiny details like that. And then what I wanted is I was spending 30 bucks on headphones and they were breaking. And these part here, the rubber part kept coming off of them of my youngest and it was so frustrating. And these are great. Watch when I turn on this light. It's, now you can use them. Oh, it's not on. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so for the same price as I was paying at Walmart headphones, these are more durable and this can be used as wireless or, and it's got the new plug. It's got the three and a half USB-C or as you can plug it in and use like as plug-in, right? Regular. Now, oh, where are the, cause they sent me ones for my youngest. These are super durable for my six-year-old. I'm telling you, we need it. We, I needed something super durable. Again, it's got the one, two, three, four, five, four. Really durable. This part is not gonna come off and they're not gonna blare super, super loud. So they're not going to be able to blare stuff when they're, this is great for the Yodo. If you don't do screens, you can do your Yodo and listen to it. Or um, if you do screen time, like we do PBS Kids. So I recently took away all screens except for PBS Kids because I just didn't like what was going on. And uh, yeah, so they can use it for that. Or like I said, they're Yodo in the car, but this product I don't care for. So there's, this is sound protection. Um, to, for kids. Now, so sometimes kids with autism or kids with sensory issues, they need some type of, now there's passive and active, active and passive noise canceling headphones, okay, or noise blocking headphones. Active is when they have, like there's something in there that filters the sound and gets rid of the sound so that it doesn't come into your ears. This is passive and it really doesn't change the sound because we did a bunch of tests and putting it on it really doesn't change the sound level so for that i wouldn't i wouldn't get them if if that's what they were made for i wouldn't get them but these i would 100 percent get them i mean they're just they're great they're so durable and that's what i needed and uh yeah they're definitely quality made and again for the same price that i was paying at walmart so there's two coupons down in the thing. I don't get money from it if you buy them, but um, they're 15% off or 20% off. If you go to iClever, you can go and pick out a pair and get some. And oh, look at that. So solid. So solid, these cords. And it even has um, this on here too. So very, very quality solid. Is that a microphone? What is that? No, these are if you want. That's the decibel you can set at. So 85 or 95 max. And uh, yeah. So just quite quality. And they have a variety of colors. I just have my youngest loves red and the middle child loves um, blue. Okay, so next up is I wanted to show you the last thing is this, the biggest Bible storybook. So by Kevin DeYoung and um, the illustrator. Now the illustrations, so I wouldn't have bought it for myself. I just looked at the illustrations just because I'm just in a different, it just didn't appeal to me illustration wise. But I am telling you, this is essentially... An award-winning artist. So some people love this artistry. Great. Good for them. But it takes, he basically demonstrates using clever kid-friendly language. He introduces big sections of the Bible, like the Gospels, and then provides encouraging, engaging retellings of individual stories. And each one ends with a prayer. And oh my gosh, but it teaches you stuff, complicated concepts to little kids. So it's as if, almost as if a preacher was sitting there and he was, you know, explaining it to his young child. We know you have a right to be angry with us when we sin. We are glad you haven't given up on us. Amen. Before the rain came and came and came and came, God gave no an assignment. Make yourself an ark, not an arcade, not an architect, and definitely not an aardvark, but an ark, a really big boat. Noah made such a big boat that it had room for his wife, his three sons and their wives, and two of every kind of anvil, even aardvarks. Okay, so, yeah. All right, there you go. So I gave you kind of a preview of that. Thank you for tuning in. If you got any questions, you can drop them in the comments. I'm trying to stay away from screen, so that's why I don't answer comments anymore as much as I used to, and I apologize for that. <laughs> but when I figure out my life, <laughs> I will answer them if I can. Okay, have a great day. Can you say please like and subscribe? Be right, you right. And hit the bell for notifications. You barely know what that day did. <laughs> <laughs>